This is Josh Matthew coming to you live from the University of Kentucky. I am standing here at the entrance of Memorial Hall, a well-known building on campus. Let's take a tour of this magnificent building and look at key features that lie within it. As you can see, the architecture of the exterior of this building is very exceptional. From the massive white pillars in the front to the outdoor amphitheater in the back, Memorial Hall is an extraordinary building. It was built in 1929 as a memorial to remember those who died in World War I. Also, Memorial Hall's renowned clock tower is used in the University of Kentucky's logo. Not only is the exterior unique, but the interior of the hall is also unique. This space can hold a substantial amount of people with all the seating available. This hall is used for a variety of different events. They include lectures, performances, and even graduations for certain departments at the University of Kentucky. Also, how many of your lectures are lit by huge, elegant chandeliers? There are numerous features of this building that help make this building a popular building on campus. But is there something that the university is hiding from students who come into contact with this building on a day-to-day -day basis? As you enter Memorial Hall, you walk upstairs amongst beautiful white pillars and through double doors leading into the lobby. Have you ever noticed the strange sheets blanketing the walls of the lobby? The walls are covered because what lies behind these sheets has become very controversial among students that attend the University of Kentucky. Stated in Mancheva's article, in 1934, artist Ann Rice O'Hanlon painted a detailed fresco of the history of Central Kentucky on the walls of the lobby in Memorial Hall. A fresco is a type of painting usually done on walls or ceilings, where water-based paint is mixed with a wet plaster making it permanent when it dries. O'Hanlon's fresco deals with the history of Central Kentucky from the time of settlers through the 19th century. The fresco has some depiction of slavery infused throughout the massive mural. As a result of this, Mancheva states, the president of the University of Kentucky, Eli Capilotto, has shrouded the fresco because it has created controversy over the past couple of years among students. President Capilotto stated that a student said, each time he walks into a class at Memorial Hall, he looks at the black men and women toiling in tobacco fields and receives the terrible reminder that his ancestors were enslaved, subjugated by his fellow humans. Now, I have Savannah Jones here to talk about how she feels about this controversial mural. After hearing about the mural, what do you think should be done? Um, I think that the mural should be uncovered, but also maybe have the controversial part be painted over. Because although it may be racist to some, the whole mural itself is really important to UK because it's historical. And I'm proposing a petition to uncover this fresco made by O'Hanlon to help revive the once lively lobby walls. However, when the fresco is uncovered, I believe that the controversial part should remain covered for now until another solution is found. Everything about Memorial Hall is unique. From the inside of the lecture hall to the exterior of the building, this is why I'm proposing this petition, to make not only the inside of the lecture hall and exterior remarkable, but also the lobby of this building. I believe that if we uncover the walls of the lobby, but keep the controversial part covered, it will make this lobby look so much better. Thank you for listening to this public service announcement. I am Josh Matthew, live from the University of Kentucky, signing off.